Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So for today's video, we are going to be talking about water coloring in your Bible. So I wanted to pull out some of my Bible so I can show you what I've done in them. So this one is my KJV journaling Bible. And here I have just a simple watercolor on the side that I figured I would show you guys because it's something simple you can do. I did it for Psalm 1 based on the first two verses. And I just wrote out a little bit and then did a very simple watercolor flower and I feel like this is something anyone can do um, it's on the side of your Bible it doesn't cover up the words and that's something I like about watercolor is that even if you do go over the words you can usually see right through it something I also like to do in my Bibles is to take one of the last pages which is usually like an index or something like that and I like to test out my products in the back this way I can see is it going to cover the words is it going to bleed through do I like the way it dries on this paper um, and you can just try different things I have a page too where I um, tested out different pens and it's just a simple way to test out different material before committing into your Bible pages and that's just something I like to do I like this page here in Matthew because you can see here I went over the words in watercolor but you can still see through. Um, you can still see the words through the paint even in the darker spots you can still see the words. That's something about watercolor said it's very forgiving and even if you use too much paint you can still see the text if you're nervous or worried about covering the text. Now this is my ESV study bible and in this bible it's not a journaling bible but i have been really enjoying just throwing my journaling notes um artwork into this bible and um it's something i've really been enjoying just because this is the bible i use every day i take it to church i study from it so here in second corinthians this is something I did for my scripture memory challenge and I just took the passage of scripture that we were studying and the context for it and I did some watercolor leaves. And I did this because it's something simple to do to make the text pop up, but you can also see the text as I said many times and it's just something nice that pops up. It's easy and simple to do if you don't mind going over the words of scripture. This is also just you know, a, a nice way to bring a pop of color into your Bible instead of just doing the normal underlining or highlighting. Now this Bible is my KJV study Bible. And this is actually a Bible I want to start using more in the new year. Um, I used it before I had my ESV one, but now I just want to make sure that I'm flipping through both of them. So in this Bible specifically, I'm going to show you guys some some uh, a different type of watercolor technique it's basically like a reverse highlighting so i'm going to watercolor the entire page um on both pages except for the passage of scripture that i uh, am trying to highlight um so the passage of scripture i'm trying to highlight is ephesians 2 verses 1 through 7 and if you've um seen other videos in my channel or on my channel you would know that Ephesians 2 has, you know, it holds a special spot in my heart. So I wanted to really have that stand out. So by not watercoloring it and having everything else around it be watercolored, it's going to make it pop out in a very different way. I just wanted to show you guys that technique and just show you guys what I do. So the watercolors I'm going to use are some watercolors that I got off um, Amazon. They are, I can never pronounce the name, so I will leave it linked down below. And I am going to be using three colors. The colors I'm using is a green, a teal, and a blue. And I'm going to use those to do some sort of watercolor background on this page. So I'm going to speed this up and let you guys see exactly what I do.
Now that this page is dry, I'm just going to take a pen and outline that um, white space just to make it pop out more. I feel like this page definitely needed something else. But as you can see, the white box stands out on its own because it's the only part of the page that is not um, colored. And it's just a different way of highlighting, basically a reverse highlight. And you can still see all the words on the page. For this next watercoloring that I'm going to do, I'm going to be in my ESV Bible and I'm going to just do some watercolored leaves on Psalm 34. If you watched my Psalm journey video, you would know that Psalm 34 is one of the first Psalms that we have gone through. And I'm going to use some watercolors from Yuli Watercolors from Etsy. And these are just some very beautiful watercolors. If you saw my journaling supplies haul, you would have seen these watercolors and they are beautiful they're so shimmery they're they're very pigmented they're more pigmented the longer you let water sit on them so if you just brush it with water lightly they're going to be less pigmented if you let water sit on them for long amounts of time then they will become more pigmented as the paint will thicken on your brush and stuff so i'm going to use some of these and i'm going to do some watercolor leaves so i'm going to put you guys on fast forward so you guys can see exactly what i'm doing if you guys would like to see a more detailed um video on how i do these watercolor leaves um definitely let me know and i can definitely get that out for you guys but here you guys can just see exactly what I'm doing. And with these watercolors, you can see through them because I'm not letting them get too thick. Um, I'm keeping the paint pretty watery so that way you can see through it. So yeah, so I will see you guys in a second. So this is what the page looks like once it's all done. As you can see, these paints are super shimmery. Um, I try to get this good for you guys in the light. I try to move my page around so you guys can see just how these paints shimmer and they're almost holographic. They're definitely beautiful and they stand out on this page. So I just wanted to do that for this chapter. So yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I just wanted to show you guys some very quick techniques that you can do with watercolors and just show you what I've done before and show you what you can do easily. So I really do love watercoloring in my Bible and just 
doing that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you would like to see more videos like this or anything else, leave a comment down below and definitely let me know what you guys want to see. And I will see you guys in my next video.